This is Duke University. My name is Mark Desus, and I'm a professor in civil and environmental engineering here at Duke University. We're funding from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. We've been working for two years now on a novel sanitation technology, which we hope is going to make a difference for the over one billion people who don't have access to proper sanitation. Our approach is a very low-tech approach, and I will show you how it works. Let's start with the toilet, which is typically in, peop in places where they have some kind of sanitation, would be like a pit latrine. And let's follow the waste. Uh, this would typically be an outhouse. Uh, and now the waste, instead of going into a pit, we're leading that into a vessel, which is an anaerobic digester. In the digester, the waste is fermented and it results in biogas. What we're doing is we're using the biogas to heat sterilize the effluent. So we're burning this biogas in a heater and if we follow the effluent of the digester it will pass through a heat exchanger so that we can recover most of the heat will go into the heater and then pass back in the heat exchanger. And through the action of heat, we're killing the pathogen resulting in an effluent, which is not clean water, but is pathogen free. So this is our lab uh, prototype digester. It's a floating dome digester, which means that the lid is floating on the biogas. This is where we feed our synthetic waste. This is like a paste that has the same properties as a human waste. So here's one of our heat exchangers. That's actually a full scale heat exchanger. We'd be able to treat the waste of an extended family uh, of 10. Here is one of our heaters. As you can see, it's wrapped in thermal insulation because thermal efficiency is very important for the success of the system. So this is a self-contained autonomous system. In the lab, we've worked on the anaerobic digestion of concentrated waste and also on the design and construction of the heater and the heat recovery system. At some point, we felt we were ready to go and demonstrate the technology in the field. So we teamed up with partners in Eldret, Kenya, and constructed three systems to demonstrate the technology in the field. Hello, I'm Aaron Forbestokes. I'm a PhD student at Duke University in environmental engineering. Today we're in Sugomo Estate, which is outside of Eldoret, Kenya. And we've installed three of our anaerobic digestion pasteurization latrines here. So I'm going to show you those sites today. So this is our central site. And so we're going to go in. This is Lucy, the uh, owner of this site. And so we've been working with her a lot on this project. So we'll come in. So this site is almost all students. There are about 35 students living here. They all attend the University of Eldoret. The University of Eldoret is who we're partnering with on this project. This is the current system for waste on the site. So you have, these are washrooms here, and these are their pit latrines. Uh, so each person on this site shares these washrooms and pit latrines here. And so we're hoping, instead of the pit latrines now, they'll be using our system, the anaerobic digestion pasteurization latrine, or ADPL for short. This site has approximately 17 residents. They live in these, this row of homes here. They're single room homes for a family. On this side of the plot, they have a garden that's normally used for corn. They use this area for garbage disposal and for hanging clothes. These are the pit latrines that the site is currently using. Let's see pits here. There are three pits and two washing rooms. And here's the access to the toilets. The stairway up here. So when the residents come to use the restroom, they come here and collect some water for flushing. 
a liter can. And here's where they go to the restroom. It's a plastic prefabricated slab that was made from a company in Nairobi. They come in, they do their business, and then afterwards they use the pour flush to make sure that the slab remains clean after use. And this is the digester. The bottom is enclosed by these Mabati doors. Open up the system. And this is the inside. So we have a floating dome digester. The inlet pipes are behind. You can see the four inch waste pipes. They flow into the back of the digester. Here you can see the gas flow line. The orange line is for biogas. Flows from the top of the dome down to the treatment system. It flows back here to a biogas scrubber. The bottom line is for condensation of vapors in the gas. Flows up through the scrubber. From there, it flows to a flow meter to control our gas flow. Right now it's set at 200 milliliters to per minute. Then flows to our Bunsen burner, which is below. The mirror is here for checking the flame, which as you can see is on right now. Here is a four inch outlet overflow. The overflow comes here to a clean out plug, flows down into the heat exchanger. The outer port is for the cold chamber of the heat exchanger. It flows down into the heat exchanger along this outer edge, overflows then into the heating tank. That is where it's heated up to approximately 75 Celsius. The overflow from the heating tank here comes back into the heat exchanger, flows into this inner port of the heat exchanger, the hot chamber, comes along, flows out, flo then flows into a collection tank. Here the effluent can be collected and used as fertilizer after we test that it's been treated. The residents at this plot have a large garden that right now it's the dry season so they don't have much growing but this in the rainy season is quite full of kales and corn. What we're seeing both in the lab and in the field is that the technology and the approach is working very well and so we're continuing our innovations in the lab and I look forward to more opportunities to do demonstrations in less developed countries.